The CSV utilities plugin from Forge can also be used to generate text files, the formatted ones. In this video, let me show you how. So once again, we are looking at my service studio where I have an entity called customer uh, having these attributes and I also have some sample data that goes in this entity. What I will do as usual, I will build the listing and detail screen. And then we are going to use the CSV utilities to generate and export the records from customer entity into a text file. So listing a detail, the listing screen is where we'll do most of our work. So first of all, let's add a reference to CSV utilities. I'm going to use uh, this one that gives me a binary, somewhat like this. The reference is done. And then uh, to make the function available on the screen, we'll add a button. Okay. And when somebody clicks on this button, we'll plot the logic. Now logic is somewhere we will run the action, server action, because CSV utilities, uh, the action that we've included can only be run from the server side. So in this case, run the server action, let this be a new one. And in here, we can specify what this would be. So, uh, now here, first of all, let's retrieve the list of customers. And then based on this list of customers, we can use the CSV utilities. So that will be somewhere here. Export record list to CSV binaries. Record list would be the query above. Now make sure you use the, uh, the formatting options available here in the built-in to get it an uh, object. I think it's the data conversion, sorry. So data conversion options, there is one for two object. And get customer should be actually inside this dot list. And then we can use some uh, delimiters here under configurations, whether you want to show the header do that and for field delimiter let me use this one there are other things also available here in case you have a need for it you can use it but in the end it will return me a binary so that binary i can return as an output parameter that would be a file and to provide the value to this file output variable we use this event operator and pass it the output okay Eventually, we will go back to our screen action where we are calling the server action. And now we will allow the users to download this file. So the content of this file would be coming from the server action above. And the file name, pay attention to this part. Instead of naming it as a CSV, we'll just name it as TXT. Something like customers.txt. Okay. And that's it. Let's go ahead and publish the application. Let's see the results. there so here is my customer listing page and the button that generates the text file let's see if it's working fine I got my customer.txt file if I open it I can see my text file is well formatted it has the header separated by this line and all the values are also well formatted thanks for watching